Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good morning. Good to see everybody. Hope you guys had a nice week. I know some of you had class last week. But hopefully you guys are ready to go this week as we get back into listening and speaking for this week. Want to get right into it. Looks like we have about 20 of us so far in the class. So uh, this week, actually today, I want to give you some time, guys. Uh, we're going to be focusing today on two tasks. One task is about the topic of friendship. And the second activity will be related to your group activity that we started two weeks ago, not last week, but the week before. So I want to give you guys some time today to work in your groups, uh, to work on your projects. Um, before we get into today's activities, I want to make a few comments about your grades. First of all, uh, today, this morning, I'm going to share my screen here. All right, so this morning, guys, I uploaded a video. If you have questions or doubts about how to access your grades for this class, for listening and speaking, you can access it by going into Teacher Ease. And this video, if you click on the link, it should take you right to the moment where I, ex I explain how to access your grades. It's hard to see here, but basically under under uh let's see well i can't see it here myself let me go into it all right i'm not going to play the video you guys can watch the video but essentially okay guys you can go into teacheries is it going to show up here all right and if you go under academics there's an option that says grades. Okay, so basically academics, grades, and then that will take you, it'll show the, the name of the course, which is listening and speaking one, and then it will have your grade. Now remember the grade is going to be in the form of a percentage. So it'll be 100 or it'll, it'll be 90 or 80. Uh, that's going to be how your grade is going to look. Okay, so... Uh, make sure that you go under academics and grades, and you should be able to see your your grade. And again, it's hard to see here, but this is the name of the course here, and your grade here is right in the middle of your screen. So make sure that you can find your your grade. This is going to be your total grade at, at, at that moment, that day that you're checking. And uh, this morning I went in and updated all the grades for the episodes that you uploaded, your first two episodes. Now, remember, uh, let me go into an example here. All right, I want to show you one example of how one of you have named your episodes. All right, so I'm going to go into the podcast ledger. I think most of you have changed the folder here. Let's go to, we're going to pick on Ellie this morning. So if you go into Ellie's folder, all right, so make sure, first of all, that your shared folder, your link goes to a shared folder. I think there are two of you who still link to a file. So please don't link to a file, but link to a shared folder. And a shared folder is going to be where all the episodes will uh, will be. The, this is where they're going to reside. And this is a good example. So Elizabeth has her shared folder. The link goes right to the folder. And she has her two episodes. 
And I really like how Ellie has listed the name of the episodes. She has the title. She has episode, episode or podcast episode one. And then, very important, and this is what I would like all of you to do, is to please include the week, week two and week three. All right, this week, we're going to complete our third episode. So this week will be week four. All right, so please include in the title of the episode, the name of the audio file or video file. Please make sure that you include W2, W3, W4, and so on. Okay? So this is a very good way of doing it, and it's easy for me and for all of us. If we're listening to each other's episodes, which I encourage you to do, is to include W2 and W3. Now, here's one thing that you can do. If you include week three, week two, at the beginning of the episode of the name of the file, then you can organize by name the week. So notice I click on nom nombre, name, and I can sort. Right? I can sort either way. I can sort ascendingly or descendingly. Right? I can I can I can order the episodes how I want, but that's going to depend on how you name the file. So, if you include W2 or W3 at the beginning of your episode, then you can easily sort by week each of the episodes. Okay? But I'll leave that up to you, but please make sure that you include W2 and W3. This just makes it easier for me and for all of us to find your episodes. Right now, it's easy because we only have two episodes. But in, you know, a month from now, we're going to have probably six or seven episodes. By the end of the semester, we're going to have closer to 14 or 15 episodes. And so it can get kind of difficult to find if we're not careful how we name the audio files. Okay, so please include W2, W3, W4, and so on in the name of the files. Make sure the link, your hypertext, goes to a shared folder, not, not a shared file. Okay, again, these are files, and this folder is going to include all of the files for your episodes. All right, any questions about, about this, about your episodes, or about your podcast? No, did you? No, did you? Okay, you guys are doing a great job in your episodes, all right? As you, the more practice you do, uh, you're going to get more comfortable uh, speaking. Try to prepare using a mind map or notes or an outline, right? To prepare about how you want to organize your ideas, but don't read from a text, all right? Try not to read from a text. I would rather you have a few errors in your speaking than something perfectly spoken, but you're reading from a text. All right, so again, when you create an outline or a mind map, today we're going to work on a mind map, just include key phrases, key words, or key phrases, very little text, right? Just enough to prompt you to remind you, okay, I'm going to talk about this, then I'm going to talk about this, then I'm going to talk about this. And if you do that, if you keep practicing that, because right now it's going to be really hard as we are still getting started with our episodes and with our podcast. But as you practice and you keep doing it, it does get easier. Right? That's the only way that it will get easier is if you try each week to not read from a text, right? but try to... Try to uh, create your own words. Even if you're paraphrasing, if someone else says something else, or let's say that you're reading something from someone else, that you found something in a, in a text, don't read it, just paraphrase it. Right? Think about what the person said and, and then put into your own words that idea, 
that, that idea that comes from another person. Okay, so take this opportunity with your podcast to practice that. When you listen to your own pet podcast, they're going to say some really important things, some interesting things that you want to talk about. So make notes to yourself as you're listening to your podcast and then include that in your own podcast later. All right, my friends. All right, so check your grades. Um, I... I am going to pass out also about your TOEFL score. I know you probably, in fact, I wasn't aware that you were not, you didn't receive your TOEFL scores. Is that correct? Do you guys know what your TOEFL scores were when you, when you took uh, the TOEFL exam uh, before you entered into the university? Did you receive your scores? No. Okay. So I'm going to send, uh, later today, I'm going to send everyone uh, via the chat all of your scores for the TOEFL exam, okay? Your each individual score and then your total score, all right, so that you have that. I'll send that out later uh, later today. Um, Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, so Thank today, you. guys, today uh, we're going to do two activities. The first activity, I want to give you time in class until about 8.45 to do the first task. And the first task is about the question, friendship. So before we get into it, just uh, to get some of your ideas, go ahead and activate your microphones, jump in. Um, what do you think? What, what comes to mind? Think about somebody that you say, this is a true friend what makes a true friend if you can think of a, an experience how would you define true friendship Kobe, for example gives you advice and you can tell or all that you want okay good so advice, they give you good advice. And when are some times, if anybody wants to share, when are, those, when are some good times that you've received good advice from a true friend? Anybody want to share? When you're in love. <laughs> okay, when you're in love, that's a good time, right? If you're in love with someone, you might receive some advice do you guys like to receive advice when you're when you like someone when you like someone romantically do you like to receive advice from your friends yes yes, yes. It's true. what else when when else might you receive advice from a true friend when we are sad okay when you're sad and what kind of advice do you receive? Like, how? what's a good way to give advice to a friend? Or what's a bad way to give advice? What do you think? I think a true friend give <clears throat> give alternatives or choices to make better or more better the things that that I doing that I'm doing <laughs> I don't know okay that's good so your a friend will give some options maybe they give options that you were not thinking about that you weren't aware of Maybe they were something that you thought about, but you weren't sure if it was a good idea or not. So that's good. A good friend or a true friend is going to provide different options. Anybody else? Any other suggestions like how I should give advice to a, a friend? Uh, I think that a real friend is always supporting you. Always. Um, whatever you want to do, uh, whatever you want to achieve, 
the other person is um is always with you is always supporting you your decisions all right so maybe a friend is not is is there in the good times and in 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 the bad times when things are going well for you and when things aren't aren't so great when they're not when they're going poorly for you okay yeah have you have you guys had a situation do your friends act differently with you depending on if things are going well for you or things are going poorly i'm curious how do they how do friends react or how should they react when things are going well for you how should they act when things aren't going well for you any ideas any advice Well, for example, uh, I uh, I had been, yeah, I had been uh, like two or three years out of school, uh, and one of my my dreams in a very short uh, term, short term, was entering to university. So, so all of my friends. Um, was selling was yeah was supporting me and and they were they were so happy when when I when I got into university right so so maybe a, a good friend is not going to be jealous right they're not going to be jealous if things are going well and you want to enter into the university and you're really excited about going into the university they're not going to be like Oh man, they're not going to be jealous or feel bad about it. They're going to be happy for you, right? They're going to be happy for you. This this phrase "happy for someone," it's really a, a special phrase, right? I'm going to type it into the chat. When you're happy for someone, happy for someone, right? So I'm happy for Adan that he entered into the university, right? I'm happy for someone. If things are going well, right? So you can be happy for your friends. If you're not happy for your friends, that's a bad thing. Because then you might be jealous. You might be labeled as being jealous. Okay, so I don't know if you've had any friends that were jealous. And how do you feel? Is that is that a good thing to be jealous? Or a bad thing to be jealous? Right. So think about. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It's a bad, bad thing. I think if you are jealous about your friends, you are not a good friend. Right. So maybe, maybe, maybe some people think, well, I'm jealous means that you care about the person, but sometimes it's negative. A lot of times it can be negative if you're not happy for the person, even when things are are going well for you. I'm curious if you guys have ever had a situation where you received advice that you thought was bad, but later you found out that it was good advice. Now, I know these can be personal stories and you don't feel like you have to share this these stories, but I am curious if anyone has ever had a situation where some friend said something and you thought, no, that's horrible advice. And then later you found out that it was good advice. Anyone want to share a story? Or maybe it's never happened. Has it ever happened? Yes, me and Frolock. <laughs> and then uh, we were walking and I was telling her that I like a guy. And she was like, no, he's a bad guy. Everybody like talks like bad about him. And I was like, no, no, you're stupid. That's not true. And I was, I was so in love. So I was like just ignoring her. And she was like, no, you're blind. You don't see things. And then 
until now I realize that he's a really like he's not bad but he has like weird attitudes with girls so I decide like to stop talking to him and I just be thankful with her <laughs> yeah I think many of us can relate to that that experience right somebody telling us no this person's no good for you right and we said, no, this, this is, I really like this person. And then it turns out, well, maybe your friend was right. <clears throat> sometimes we think, sometimes we don't realize how good a friend is, do we? Until later we look back and we think back and we thought, well, you know what? Maybe that person wasn't so bad after all. Maybe that person was right about, about something. So sometimes we can mistake a good friend for not so good friends, right? Uh, but until we yeah. li have a lived experience, okay? Great, thank you for sharing your stories. Really, yes, go I, ahead. I really consider uh, that she's my best friend because she never judged me and she's always listening to me. And for me, a best friend is the one who, like, when something happened, like, in the friendship, uh, you guys talk about it. Because I hate when something happens and you just, like, leave the person and you don't say anything and you guys don't talk anymore. I hate that. And my best friend is not like that. She always told me and I always told her, like, if something that she said make me um, mad, I told her and she's the same. So that's why... Since we were like thirteen, we were best friends. Yeah, that's that's a that's good. You know, communication is really the key to any relationship, right? Even a friend, a friendship, right? A work relationship, just being a good classmate. Maybe you're not the best of friends, but you like you respect each other and you help each other. Regardless of the relationship, good communication, absolutely. And a friendship, a friend is willing to tell you the truth, right? Even if sometimes, as they say, the truth hurts. If you've heard of that phrase, sometimes the truth hurts, right? And our friends, our good friends, are going to tell us what they think. They're going to be truthful. They're going to be honest. Excellent. All right, very good ideas, guys. Today, what I'd like for you to do, I'm going to give you about 20, 25 minutes to, to work on this, okay? Um, I'm gonna share my screen, and I'll share the link in the chat. Share my screen, and today what I'd like for you to do is to create a video and I'm interested in your stories. I'm interested in how you define friendship, how you would answer this question. What makes a true friend? And I would like for you to think about telling a short story and define what a true friend is. Again, a minute to a minute and a half. You don't have to go into detail about the story, but try to tell the story and answer the question, what makes a true friend? Think about the question words. What? So what is a true friend? When is a friend a good friend? Why? Why is it important? When? Where? With whom? All right, so think of the question words as you think about your ideas, and I want you to... Put together, I want you to write out a colorful mind map to represent the key ideas, the key points of what makes a true friend. All right, so think about showing your mind map right before the, the first part of your video begins. Show your mind map and then try to answer the question and upload your video here to Flipgrid. I'm going to give you guys until 8.45 to complete the task. If you don't complete it in class, that's fine. You can complete it after class. But try to do as much as you can in class 
to complete this task, uploading a video to Flipgrid. Of course, you can upload it with your computer, with your phone. If broadband is a problem, all right, if, if it helps, go ahead and leave the class, right? Leave the class and then complete the task and try to upload it. But please come back to class at 8.45 and we'll continue with the next task, all right? Any questions guys here let me go let me let me go ahead first and share the link any questions guys about today's first task no did you i'm going to be online of course if you guys have questions if you have mm -hmm. issues um, but you don't have to again you do not have to stay in the class if broadband is a problem it, it's going to be more of a problem if you stay in the class. I would rather you leave, leave the class, close everything, right, so that you can easily upload your video to a Flipgrid. And then just make sure you come back to class at 8.45. All right, and I've included the link. Remember that the code, the first time you go into this task, you'll have to enter the code C48. Forty five six nine five. All right, so that's in the link, and that is the code that you'll need to enter into the the topic. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. If you guys have any questions, of course, jump in, and we will come back at eight forty five. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, guys, we'll wait here just uh, about a minute more as folks are coming back from the first task. Don't worry if you did not have a chance to complete the task, this first task, that's okay. Please try to complete it later today. Remember to try to include a mind map to help prepare for what you want to say. Try to organize your ideas and uh, the best way to answer the question, what makes a true friend? Try to mix your story, your personal experience, with how you would answer the question, how you would define a true friend. Remember to think about the question words. What, how, why, when, where, with whom. All right, anytime you're asked to speak about something and you ask yourself, well, what can I say? What, what can I say about whatever? Think about the question words. Think that, think like you're a journalist. That's what journalists do when they investigate the news. All they're doing is telling a story. They're telling a story that happened in real life, hopefully. And they're thinking about the question words. Tell the story. What happened? Why did it happen? Where did it happen? When did it happen? Etc. Okay, so think like a journalist. All right, my friends. Let's see how many folks we have with us here at this time. Okay, 37. That's good. Looks like we've got almost a full class. All right, in the chat... I'm going to include a link, and let me go ahead and share my screen first. Today, the rest of today, I would like for you guys to work in your groups. All right? I want to say a few things about how to best work together for this performance task, okay? This video that I'm asking you to create that's going to be due this Friday. We still have all week to complete this video. All right, so I would like to do a couple of things um, this week before you create the video. Number one, I want to meet with each of you, your groups. All right, last, a week ago, last Friday, I met with several groups um, and Today, I want to meet with everyone else, all right? So today, I'm going to meet with group three, 
group 7, group 8, and group 10. I think I met with everybody else uh, a week ago last Friday. So I want to meet with everyone to hear how you're thinking about preparing for your video. I want to hear what you've accomplished, what you're thinking about, maybe what's left to do. The second thing I want to do before you create the video is I would like to have another brief conversation with each group so that you tell me how you're going to organize what you're going to do in your video, okay, generally, okay, how you're going to produce it, all right? I would like to have this conversation before you create your video to give you any last final suggestions, all right? So I want to meet with each group at least twice before you create your video. Again, your video is due this Friday, and you'll have all day Friday to complete this task. All right, so that's how I would like us to work together. Now, what makes a good video, right? What should you include in your video? All right, we talked a little bit about this list. I'm going to share this list right now in the chat if you want to review again this list of suggestions on how you can create a good video please check this list please use this list don't just create a video or if you're asking yourself well what does he want what is what is he looking for for this video this is what i'm looking for for your videos for this week all right so i'm going to go into the chat and I'm going to include this link to a Word document. Again, this is the same list that we talked about a week ago last Friday. Hopefully with this link, it's kind of long, you can access this file. If you're not able to, please let me know. Mm. Let me try to share my screen once again. I just want to make sure you can see my screen. Hopefully you can see it. All right, so here are the instructions. Again, I'm not going to read through all of this. I just want to make sure that you guys can access this list. There's a list of what makes a good presentation here. Just below, this is a list of what makes a great video. And down at the bottom, I talk about licensing. So because... Uh, your video, I don't know if you're going to publish it publicly or privately. It's up to you. You can choose. If you're going to create a video that's going to be available to the public, then please do not use anything that is under a, a license, right? All rights reserved license, okay? So you need to include only mm, works that are from what's called a Creative Commons license. This actually gives you the freedom to use these works in your own video that you're going to produce publicly. All right? This could be music. It could be uh, images. It could be text documents. Anything that you're going to include in your public video needs to be under what's called a Creative Commons license. So... The, I know most of you are going to create a, pub, a private video. A private video is fine. You don't have to worry about it. Um, if you're going to include, you know, you can include basically anything because you're not going to be sharing this publicly. But this is only for those who are going to produce something publicly. I do encourage everyone to publish your work publicly. Right? I really do. Even though maybe you're not comfortable with it. Maybe you think, well... I have a low level of English. Why would I want to do this? And, and I want you to realize that everything that you cre create and produce has value and has importance and is, has potential importance to someone else. What you're producing has value, right? Because that's what 
I'm looking for, and that's what I expect, and that's what you're going to create. You're going to create something that's valuable to someone, right? Besides me, of course. So I want you to really consider trying to make as much of the work for this semester in my class as public as, as possible because you will also appreciate later, a year from now, two years from now, four years from now, when you graduate, looking back, you're going to have uh, a lot to be proud of when you look at how much you've improved over time, all right? So I really encourage all of you to publish your podcast publicly and not be afraid of your English level proficiency, okay? The choice is yours. You can decide. All right, so I want to give you guys the rest of today to continue working on your your video. Let me repeat, please do not produce or create your video until I've talked with your group on two separate occasions. Okay, I'm going to talk again with groups three, seven, eight, and ten. I think that's, is that right? Let me check my list again. Three, seven, eight, and ten. Okay, and then I want to talk with all the groups again before you create your video. Again, just to hear from you to see how you're going to organize your video to give you any last-minute suggestions. Any questions, guys, about today's activity? Not the chair. All right, so... Let's go into our groups. Remember that I'm asking everyone to please record your meetings. Please record all the conversations that you have in Microsoft Teams in your respective groups. All right. Of course, I want everyone to speak English as much as possible. So please encourage each other nicely, lightly, professionally. Encourage each other to speak in English, because most of the time, I'm not going to be there. If you don't speak English, I'll never, well, I will know if you're recording. And But I want you to record your, your sessions, tr help each other speak as much as possible in English as you develop your ideas. Please do not use WhatsApp. Please do not use anything outside of of Microsoft Teams. All right, try to do all of your work whether it's in class or outside of class, uh, within this one platform. Communicate with your partners, right? As we understand, you know, having good communication is important to uh, have a good friendship, to have a true friendship. It's also equally important when you're working together with others to have good communication. So please talk to each other and let each other know if you're having problems with technology, if you have uh, problems meeting outside of class at a certain hour, please communicate that with your teammates. Try to work together uh, to complete the task. All right, so let's go ahead and continue now working, guys. Go ahead and go into your groups. Please open up a meeting if you need to close or exit this meeting, that's okay. If, if broadband is a problem, try to close everything in your browser and just open up just what you need and so that the internet connection isn't a problem. We'll come back to our class at 940 to uh, close uh, today's session. All right, of course, I'll be here if you have any questions. I'll go ahead and mute my mic. Jump in and ask, or I'll be checking if you want to post a message in the chat in Microsoft Teams. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys, and we will uh, get come back at 940. Okay, teacher. Hello, Team 3. Hello, Susanna. Hi, teacher. Are we still waiting for your teammates? Yes, I'm calling them. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've uh, been thinking about as a team, what you've decided on? Um, yes, we chose the topic uh, job 
losses about the pandemic. All right. And I'm going to open up uh, the spreadsheet here so I can see also what you've completed. Anything else, guys, uh, that you've uh, been thinking about or have des have decided on? Um, well, first, we are talking about uh, the uh, Mexico situation. And then um, we want to talk a little bit about the war situation because it is a lot of information, but we want to mention it. I don't know if my classmates want to say something. Hello, Fernando. Hello, uh, Jacqueline. No. 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 Any, anything? Yes, we, yeah, go ahead. Yes, we are planning to describe the problem in Mexico and <clears throat> a bit of the world, and then to give our solution to that problem that is that many people has lost uh, it's jobs, their jobs. All right. Uh, I'm looking at the spreadsheet. And one of the, the rows in the spreadsheet is called role. <laughs> R-O-L-E, role. So I see that your audience, you have uh, students of the university uh, and the public. All right. So let's, let's focus on the students of the university as your target audience, as the main audience for your video. All right, these are the, the people that are going to benefit the most from watching your video. Okay, that is your audience, the people that are going to benefit the most from watching your video. So if, this, if the audience are the students of the university then think of the role, right? And you can imagine a role. Think of a role that you're taking as a team producing this video for the target audience, the students of the university. Think about, like, uh, maybe you're a committee, you work for the university, right? You can kind of pretend and assume that you are uh, responsible for producing this information that you're going to create as a team. So think of the role in the audience very specifically when you think about the solution to the problem of job losses in, in I guess, Mexico, right? I, I'm assuming you're going to focus only on Mexico. That's what I would, I would do. Um, so... Think again, the audience is very much related to the solution to the problem. And so, um, is this, can you think about maybe a possible role that you would assume as, as a team in producing this video? Any ideas? Mm, yes, we was. Mm, we were talk, uh, thinking that our role could be encourage the, in this case, the students or the university members to mm, help. If one friend uh, start a new deal, you will buy the things that they are mm, selling to help them. I don't know if you understand me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're going to give suggestions to students of the university on how to how to deal with like the stress. Like, let's say that they're stressed because there uh, there are no jobs. Are you are you going to focus on? And I'm just throwing out ideas, right? As, as suggestions. Are you focusing on students? who directly are related to or have problems with maybe their parents aren't working or or are you speaking more in general to all students and the lack of job, job losses? I think that in general. 
All right. Yes. In general. All right. Because there, there are two, there are going to be two clear types of students. If you're going to talk in general, there are going to be two groups of students that you are talking to. One group of students are going to have parents or people that they depend on who no longer now have jobs or maybe they don't have the same income as they had before and they're going to be really stressed, right? And then there are going to be other students who are not or less uh, reflected. Maybe they don't have a problem. You know, maybe they don't relate because maybe their parents are still making more or less the same income and they don't feel the same amount of stress. So if you decide to choose all the students in the, in the university, then your presentation needs to, I think, separate those two solutions. Remember that your video should focus more on the solution than the problem. You do need to introduce the problem but most of the video should focus on the solution. And again, if you're focusing on both groups of students, then your solution, I think, would be best served if you talked about both types of students. Now, if you decide, no, I think we're only going to focus on students whose parents have been affected by COVID and maybe they don't earn as much money, so they have less money in the household, then just focus your solution on those on that group of people. And I think personally, if you want my opinion, that would be a better solution because you're only focusing on a very specific target audience. All right? But you guys decide. But do you see the two options? Do you understand the two options that I'm talking about? Yes, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. I think this is a really good topic, and um, I, I like this idea of you've got a clear problem. Just make sure you're really clear on the target audience and the solution, because again, the target audience and the solution are going to go key, hand in hand. They're very, very closely related. And if we don't know who the target audience is, we don't know what kind of solution we need to present. Right. So we really need to have it clear in our minds what role we're going to take and also the target audience. Muy bien. Um, anything else, guys, that we need to talk about? Or do you have any questions about your uh, your task? Uh, yes, teacher. We want to uh, question you. Uh, if you know about a program where we can um, record our our video like the videos that you upload to Flipgrid that you are talking at the same time that you are sharing the screen or a program where we can all right I think I think you can uh, share your screen guys in this meeting that we're in right now no yes so what I would do, this is what I would do. I would record, just as you're doing, are you recording your meeting now? Oh, shucks. All right. Let me start. Yes, please. First thing, whoever comes in first, just start recording. It doesn't matter if you're talking or not, just so you don't forget. That's what I do, because I forget all the time. If I don't hit record as soon as I get in. So whoever goes in first, just hit record. And just wait. Yeah, just let it run. All right, there's no worries if it just sits there and runs and nobody's saying anything, right? That way you never forget. Um, but you, you, what I would do, guys, is, uh, is just to record your video, just like what we're doing now. Share your screen, right? And, and you guys would practice, right? You would practice, you know, doing, going through, you know, who's going to say what and what's the order, but if you, if you can share your screen in here, then you can do basically everything that you need to do. If you want to use a, a, a PowerPoint presentation or, or whatever, you decide how you want to present. But you should be able to do everything that you can do here. Now, when you finish, I can recommend a video editor that's free 
that you can use to go back and kind of clean up your video, right? You can cut out places where maybe you made a mistake or there was, you know, something, whatever happened, you can go back and, and edit the video. And okay. um, I think what I'll do after, at uh, today at the end of class, I'll share this uh, program to everyone if, if, because probably uh, everyone else will also want to know what kind of uh, video editor to use, right? That's what I would do because we, that way you do two things. You're obviously creating a video as evidence that you guys are working together. And plus, you use that same video to create your final video. And, you know, again, you can, you know, with this video editor, you can create uh, headings and, you know, you can make it fancy if you if you want to. Okay? Okay, sure, yes. Thank All right, you guys, so any other questions? Uh, no. no. All righty. Okay, well, I'll uh, go ahead and leave, and you guys continue working, and we'll um, see you here about 940. Yes, sure. Thank All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. Bye. It's that introduction. Uh, I mean, we can make that introduction. Uh, like, uh, that is, uh, I don't know how to say that word. Um, at the beginning, at the beginning, and um, and later we can. Yeah, we can share our experiences, our experiences, and maybe, uh, maybe add information about um how. Mexican people is very tough or or yeah how is this this pandemic this is affecting people so I, I don't know if you have um, another idea like how to like start or or how to make uh, those those videos Hello, hello, guys. I'm I'm sorry to interrupt. I know you guys are right in the middle of it. I just want to make sure if you uh, ask if you guys have any questions. I I'm looking at your spreadsheet, and I see that you want to focus on uh, the problem of job losses. And yeah. It's, yeah, it sounds like that you're only focusing on Mexico. Is that correct? Oh, but actually, actually, we don't know. Maybe it would be great if we uh, if we include all of the countries because this is a global. Uh, this is affecting everyone in the world, so it would be great. But actually, we are thinking on it. So. All right. So let me let me offer two suggestions. Okay. So. One suggestion would be to focus on one country and oh. and focus more specifically about like because I'm I'm curious about the target audience, right? The the problem that you present should also have a solution. The solution should be most of your video, right? Of course you're going to introduce the problem but I want you to spend as a team more time on the solution. So the solution that you're going to discuss as a team directly relates to the target audience. That is, who's going to benefit the most from your solution that you're going to present. So your first decision as a team needs to be very specifically on what is the problem and the solution, and then who's going to benefit from that solution. Mm -hmm. So two options. One is that you focus on one country, let's say Mexico or, or whatever country you choose, but you, yeah. you dig deeper into the solution that relates specifically to that one country. And okay. all of you discuss, discuss 
those solutions more specifically. That's one option. The second option is if you really want to explore more than one country, then another option I see is, is, that, is that you have three members of your team. Is that correct? Yes, three members. Each yeah. of you chooses a country, and in your solutions, you're presenting your uh, solutions by comparing and contrasting the countries. So, for example, uh, Adan would be talking about a country and comparing his solutions to uh, Yaisha's country. And Yaisha could do the same, maybe comparing with uh, Maria del Cielo, her country. Right? And so you're, you're linking each other's solutions right, uh, based on the country that you chose through compare and contrast. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so I see it. I see both as good options. I think it's just a matter of what you as a team decide, but I would really pay close attention to the specific audience and the role that you're going to play. And, you know, I think one of the obvious roles for this is if you choose three different countries, you could be, for example, members of the UN, the United Nations, right? And you're okay. talking about this problem of COVID and job losses between these three countries and producing a solution, right, in terms of the UN, and your audience would actually be the, uh, the representatives of these countries, Right, uh, who are responsible for, you know, making policy for 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 jobs? Yeah, yeah. Th these are just examples, but this is, I think, something I would think about as a team choosing probably one of those two options. But I, I really like the topic. I like the problem that you've chosen. I just want to make sure that uh, you have a clear direction on the video and on who's going to be uh, benefiting the most listening to your solutions that you're going to present yeah because we are uh, we were actually thinking about uh thinking on um like uh, we all have uh our families and uh, some of them are some of them um uh, have some problems because of this pandemic so we were thinking on, on it, like, uh, for example, my mom uh, is having some problems with uh, uh, about it, and 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 my my siblings too. So we were. Um, it could be. I don't know if it could be uh, okay or or not. Or, or or we are still thinking. All right, so let me give you another option since you mentioned that. All right, let me give you a third option. A third option, and this is similar to other teams that I've talked about, but that's perfectly fine because you guys are going to bring your own experiences right to your discussion. You can have a target audience as, for example, university students that have parents who have been affected by job loss due to COVID-19. Now, notice how specific the audience is. It's not all students at the university. Only students at the university who have parents who have been affected by job loss. So that's the, that's the audience. Maybe the role is that you work for the university, you're a committee, and you're responsible for providing suggestions or solutions to help students adapt to this new way of life right? In many cases. So that would be the role. All right. And so then in your solutions, you can draw on your personal experiences and it's not necessary to say, I mean, you can, you can mention your, your parents or you can mention the person, but what's most important is using your experiences, your personal experiences and presenting a detailed solution on how to deal with it. Maybe the solutions are something that you and your family have experienced. Maybe they're just suggestions that you're coming up with that 
may or may not have happened, all right? But use those experiences that you've had with your family, losing um, these uh, jobs and, and going through this difficult time. What are some solutions? What can you propose to help other students go through the same thing that are going through the same thing? Okay. Is that, is that, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's clear. Sorry. All right. Um, yeah. So based on our experiences, uh, maybe we, uh, we can help um, by providing those, uh, those advice, like not more like, not like advice, but like, um, yeah, what you said, but I just forgot. Um, yeah, it could be, it could be solutions, right? Yeah. So I want, I want you guys as a team to come up with solutions. Maybe there are solutions again that you have done. Maybe there are solutions that you could do, right? But I want you to come up with advice or solution saying, okay, you can do this, you can do this, and this is how you can do this to better, to better adapt to this difficult situation. Right. Okay. So again, focus more on the solution than the problem. Okay. Right. Get it. Any other right. questions guys about the, the task? Okay. Yeah. It just says, that uh, you get it too, uh, but I don't know if um, Maria del Cielo has um, another question or or whatever. Okay, Maria del Cielo, do you have any questions here? No, all uh, is right. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. All right, guys. Well, I'll go ahead and leave you, and uh, so you can continue working, and I'll see you guys here shortly at nine forty. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk Thank to you later. You. Bye. Bye. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Luis Enrique, Maria. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Hey. How are things going with your project? Your project. All fine, but no. I'm waiting for Maria del Refugio. All right. Can you, I'm going to pull up your the spreadsheet here. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you've been talking about, what you've decided for the uh, task, for the, the video? Yes. Um, well, our topic is about less stories and mental health problems. In, well, due to the uh, pandemic and quarantine. All right. And are you focusing only on Mexico? Yes, more in the people of Mexico and more in mental health problems and about the tourists who could uh, we help uh, the tourists. <laughs> okay. So the tourism is going to be part of the solution. Is that uh, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. So just remember, guys, to try to focus more on the solution than the problem. So if the problem are mental health issues, we're going to probably spend more time talking about different ways to improve that situation, to hopefully help those who have mental health problems uh, deal with their, their issues. Um, so I want you to think about the target audience. Who would benefit the most from mm -hmm. listening to your video? What do you think? If you had to choose a very specific group of people, who might mm -hmm. those people be? Well, it's in general because it's, it's like the, uh, the topic is very general for everyone. Right. So I think what I'm suggesting and something that I encourage you to try to do 
is to try to decide on a target audience. Try to decide on a specific group of people. I understand that what you talk about might relate to everyone, but they're probably a, a specific group of people that would benefit the most. Because when you say people in general, you're talking about people who live in England, China, Mexico, Canada, oh. right? And then all people, children, infants, toddlers, elderly, right? So there's probably a, a very specific group of people that are going to benefit the most listening to your solution, right? So you oh. mentioned, for example, uh, tourism or mental health problems in Mexico. So maybe the target audience we need to begin with just people in Mexico, first of all. Now, from there, how can you focus even more? What type of specific group of people within Mexico might you focus on? What do you think? Mm, well, I think you're right about this. Maybe we focus in like young people, maybe. Okay, so you talk about it as a team, and you ask and decide, okay, who's going to benefit the most, right? And let me just give you an example, and this is just a suggestion, but I want you guys to decide on the target audience. But here's how I would try to limit and make the target audience more specific. So, all right, tourism, only tourism in Mexico, fine. Mental health issues, only those who are having me mental health issues in Mexico. Maybe I only want to talk about those who are depressed because there are many, there are many mental health problems. I, I mean, there, depression is one of them, but there are many other mental health problems. But maybe I don't want to focus on every possible mental health problem that exists. Maybe I just want to focus on depression, people in Mexico, and let's say, uh, you know, I want to choose a specific age group. Maybe it's young adults. Maybe it's older, the elderly. Yeah, you, you ask yourself, which group of people have the biggest rate of depression and who would benefit the most if uh, their problem could be helped through tourism, and you decide as a team, right? Which group of people? So again, maybe it's the elderly who have de who are depressed, and they live in Mexico, right? So there, I just limited instead of people in general, they're Mexicans or they live in Mexico, right? They could be uh, people who live out, you know, maybe they're from another country. It doesn't matter. You decide, but and maybe they're older individuals maybe the the elderly right so that's yeah. just to give you an example right so you guys talk about it discuss who the target audience is and then come up with solutions that directly relate to that specific group of people and if you can do that i think you're going to have a better video because you're specifically addressing a problem and a solution to one group of people that deal with this problem that really relate the most to this problem. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Do you have any other yeah. questions guys? I don't know. Enrique. Luis Enrique, do you have any questions? No, but about the video we can, what you say is be public vera. It can be public or private. You can decide, um, you know, what you want to do as a team. Uh, if it's public, of course, everyone needs to agree. But I really encourage you to consider uh, a public uh, video. But it's up to you as a team. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 
Okay, you're welcome. All right, guys, I'll let you go. We'll come back about 10 minutes or so to close the class. If you guys have, have any questions, of course, uh, let me know. And uh, we'll talk to you here in a few minutes, okay? Yes, teacher. All right, Thank thanks, you. guys. We'll see you later. See you. Thank you. That. Then uh, what are you going to do? Because uh, Vanessa and me, we have like the same kind of idea of how we're going to organize our ideas. But what what is yours? Okay, sorry guys to interrupt. I'm sorry. Just want to uh, ask very quickly if you uh, if you want to share kind of what you've decided and what you've talked about uh, for your video. Um, in terms of the problem and the solution? Yes. Um, well, our topic is about psychological problems during quarantine uh, because of COVID. So, Vanna is going to explain uh, what the psychological problems are, and she's going to describe them too. So people, maybe they don't know the problem or they never heard about it. So she's going to explain them. I'm going to explain the solutions and how to avoid them, how to avoid COVID and how to avoid like mental problems and psychological stuff. And Vanessa, she's going to say uh, a personal story and also an external story so she can compare like the feelings the feelings she was leaving. All right. Uh, I'm going to give you some suggestions and some things to think about. Um, I like your, your ideas, and I see that you are uh, making an effort to involve everyone equally. Uh, I, wanna, I want to stress the importance of this problem and solution video where actually the solution is going to be more important than the problem and i think that the solution if you can try to include you know the basis of your video is to think about your target audience those who would benefit the most from listening and hearing your solutions to the problem that's going to give you uh, a better video i feel so when you think about the target audience right maybe what you say relates to everybody around the world but I want you to think about what kind of psychological problems. You might even identify one or two very specific types of problem, psychological problems because there are many, many different types of psychological problems. And, and then focus on uh, maybe a region uh, around the world. Maybe it's even one country. It doesn't have to be Mexico, but of course it could be Mexico. Um, you know, maybe you're focusing on a particular part of the world where a certain type of psychological problem is the most problematic, is the most prevalent, is the most, uh, you know, common. And, and then focus on that specific target audience as you create your video and you present your solutions. Again, those solutions are going to relate very specifically to a group of people. Maybe they're elderly people. Maybe they're uh, you know young students who are also going to school and they have a lot of commitments. Or maybe it's a certain type of psychological problem that fall into that age group. You know that is a, a problem. So so try what I'm suggesting is to number one try to focus as much as you can on the solution, and number two. Try to come up with a very target audience for your video. And that target audience then is going to help you define the role. You know, who are you to present these solutions, right? And you can just assume a certain uh, position, a certain role or a certain job where they would be responsible for creating this video, presenting these solutions for this specific type of, of people. I think if you can do that as a team, uh, I feel like you're going to have a better video because it's going to be very specific to a, a, specific, a certain context, right? Instead of 
trying to talk about, for example, all of the psychological problems and address all everybody around the world. Everybody around the world includes babies, toddlers, adolescents, right? Elderly people, people in China, Canada, Mexico, right? It's there's a lot of people. And you know, again, maybe everybody could benefit from your solutions, but there's going to be a very specific group of people that are going to get the most out of what you have to say in your video. And that's what I'm asking you to consider for for this task, for this video. Does that make sense? Yes. For example, we were we were saying that this was a global problem. So many people around the world has been like suffering because of COVID. So that's why we decide to do it like that. But now that you mention, um, okay, we're going to focus um, in like a specific age. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about it. And also where you mentioned about not to mention like the psychological problems and be focused more in the solutions. What do you suggest for us? Like, all right. because I'm the one who is going to talk about the solutions. So. All right. So, so I, I, I do think that you should present a problem. Okay. So I, I don't mean that you should not present a problem. Um, I just don't think that I would spend a lot of time on the problem. So, so, or, or, or you could, the solution, as you talk about the solution, the problem could be intertwined. So, so let me give you an example of how you could organize this as a team. And this is just a suggestion, right? So before you talked about one person talking about the problem, another person talking about the solution, another person talking about the story. Let me say I really like the idea of somehow including a personal story, all right, in your in your uh, video. But let me give you an alternative. Let's say that instead, all right, you uh, you know somebody talks about the the problem, but let's say that each one of you you choose three solutions. You have three members of your team. Each of you chooses a solution. You you agree first on a problem. Right, so that that you're all talking about the same problem, the same psychological problem. So, in your solutions, each one of you chooses a solution, and and then you can decide on these this personal story whether the story is going to relate to each of your solutions individually, or if there you know if there is a one story that maybe includes all three, and you 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 uh, talk about the story at the end, right? There are many different ways that you could do it. You could have two of you talk about two solutions and the third person talk about a story that talks about, that includes the two solutions. That's another way. But do you see how I'm kind of uh, trying to think about maybe in terms of the solutions, decide on, first of all, how many solutions do you want to talk about based on the problem that you agree on first? And then think about how the story, this act, this you know, this personal story is going to be included in your presentation, right? So, I see a lot of different ways that you could go about it. It's just a matter of kind of coming together uh, to decide on on what to do. But does that does that make sense as a, as a as an option or a couple of options? Yes. So, what do you think about? If Vanna, because we were saying that we can mention uh, seven different uh, um, psychological problems. So, what do you think about if she mentioned the seven, but we just focus like in the one that is like more important or that happened more? Yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah, you could choose one psychological problem and then three solutions for that psychological problem, or you could choose three psychological problems and three solutions, one solution for each psychological problem. That's another option, right? 
Um, the question you're asking me, uh, it's it's really up to you guys. All right. The only thing that I'm suggesting is I would rather you talk more about less. I would rather you talk more in detail about less things overall based on our initial conversation. But you could choose one psychological problem. You could probably choose two, probably no more than three. Right. But again, it's it's up to you guys. I see just a lot of different options for you uh, for this. But in general, my comment, my suggestion is just to try to be a little bit more specific in terms of the solution and the target audience. All right, does that, does that help? Okay, yeah. And about the target audience, uh, do we have to mention like uh, who is our video referring to or just like um, unconsciously people is going to know who are we talking about? Yeah, like, I, th I think that the target audience should be obvious. I'll just say that. It should be obvious. Now, uh, I'll you decide how you want to just assume that you're talking to the target audience. So, you know, you are coming up with solutions for a specific group of people. So you're probably going to mention them in a, in some way, but you don't necessarily have to say, okay, the target audience for our presentation, right? I wouldn't say that, but you probably are going to mention the target audience because that's whom you're talking to. That's, you're going to be talking, you're going to be addressing a certain group of people. Okay. Okay. So what I'm just thinking right now is um, maybe just leave um, one problem so we don't get like, well, so people don't get bored uh, when they're watching the video. Uh, so if we talk about like the specific or one of specific problems, um, and I was going to say the solutions. Now you are suggesting that the three of us tell like all the solutions. You could, you could choose, each one of you chooses one solution or two of you, if you want to talk about two solutions, two of you talk about two solutions and maybe a third talk about a story that talks about those solutions. Yeah, it's, yeah. That, that's what I would I would do. Choose one of those options, you know. But yeah, that, okay. the, the idea is to focus more on the solutions and then you decide how you guys want to work together as a group to talk about those solutions. All right. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there. We're a little over. I want to go ahead and close the class. Um, so um, if you guys have any other questions, of course, we're going to be working on it all week. Send me, uh, you know, chats or uh, we can certainly address questions during class, okay? Okay. okay. All right, thanks Thank guys. You. Bye. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. A little late here, sorry about that. Um, Don't worry, teacher. All right. Um, I'm, too. I'm sorry? I'm late too. Oh, okay, so some of you are also late. Good, all right. Yes. Uh, well, that's not good, but you know, you know what I mean. All right. So, uh, to close today's session, um, I want to make a, a suggestion, uh, just a couple of suggestions when you are preparing for your video. Number one, focus more on the solution than the problem. So remember that the, the most of your video should talk about a solution and number two, address a specific audience okay so try to choose a very specific group of people that are going to benefit the most from the solution that you're going to offer in your video the solution and the target audience are very closely related so make sure that you're thinking very uh, specifically about the solution and this and the target audience talk more about less. I would rather you talk more in greater detail about less things than trying to talk about a lot of things very generally, right? Again, talk about less things more specifically. Now, how to create the video. Now, again, I'm going to ask everyone. I've talked to all the groups at this point. 
And I'm going to ask everyone, when you are ready, when you feel that you're ready to create your video, I'm going to ask you to uh, let me know so that we can schedule a time, whether it's in class or outside of class, to discuss uh, your your video. I would like for to hear from you guys about how you're going to organize your video when you feel that you're ready. All right? And maybe you practice first, right? And how can you practice? How can you create the video? Let me give you one suggestion, which I think is the easiest. It's not the only way, but I think the easiest way to create your video that's due on Friday is to record your class. Remember that all of you should be recording your videos, you know, recording your conversations, recording your meetings, do the same thing to, to create your final video. Create your final video by creating a meeting in Microsoft Teams and recording the meeting. Each of you in the meeting has the ability to share your screen. Just like I share my screen in our meetings, you guys can share your screen in your own meetings as well. So whatever it is that you want to present, whether it's a PowerPoint presentation, Maybe it's a, a Word document, an image, whatever it is, you should be able to share within the Teams, within Microsoft Teams. And since you're recording, you're actually recording the video, you're creating the video as well. So it's basically going to be just like any other meeting, except it's going to be rehearsed. You're going to practice. You're going to know exactly who's going to say what, in what order, and who's going to present. You're going to have all those details worked out and you're going to practice, but just do the same thing to create the video by recording your meetings. Once you've created the video, you're likely going to have a few things, maybe a few mistakes, maybe a, a couple of pauses, and maybe you want to add some titles and just add a few things to the finished product, to the finished video. What I would suggest is I'm going to create a link. There's a video uh, software. It's actually a video editor software. And I'm going to create uh, upload the link for you. It's called OBS, Open Broadcast Software. So I'm going to share this right now in the chat. Okay, and give it a second here. All right, so there is the link. This is a free software, and you can install it on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And it's a free video software <clears throat> that you can use to create or actually edit the video. If you guys have other ideas or other software that you want to use for editing your video, of course, use what you're familiar with. Use what uh, is available to you. Um, if you have some issues or problems with or questions about OBS or if I can help you with other software editors, let me know. Uh, I'm not looking for anything fancy, but if you want to include like a heading, a title, a slide or, or whatever, you know, feel free to, to do that. Try to make it <clears throat> as professional as possible. Um, and so I would probably plan on trying to record the video maybe Wednesday or Thursday, and then you would have a day or two to edit the final video uh, for, for the finished product. The key thing is to work together. The key is to communicate with each other and help each other. If some of you are, you know, if one of you is better at using software packages or creating uh, videos, Right, we'll try to work that out, but try to make sure that everybody's working equally, that everyone is doing his or her part. And the key thing is to communicate, right? Just like any any other relationship, make sure that you're talking with each other. If you have conflicts, if you have problems with technology, just be patient with each other, but communicate and try uh, to come together to create the final video. All right, so I want to stop there. Still want to give you a few minutes here before your next class. Are there any general questions about the projects? 
So we have to record the video here in Microsoft Teams. And what if uh, a, my camera is not working well or my internet is slow and the video is like me, but stop it in pixels and that? Okay, so, so two things. Number one, I would like to see your faces in the video if possible. But if broadband is a problem, then just your avatar, showing your avatar in the video is, is okay. All right, so it's not required. Number two, the, if you're having issues, right, try to choose times where, you know, if, if there are certain times where your internet connection is better than others, try to work it out with your team to record during a time that maybe it's less of a problem. That's number one. Number two, make sure that you've, you're closing all of your apps and you only have open what you need to, uh, to create the video, right? To create the, the, the video part of it. And the last thing I'll say is remember that the video edit is really important. So if you have problems, let's say it takes you two minutes to get started, right? But once you get started, you're able to complete it. You can easily go back and cut out those two minutes, right? Or, you know, whatever time it is a problem, you can, you can always edit that out in the video and when you uh, finalize the video. So when you create the video in Microsoft Teams, this is going to be kind of an uncut, uncut version. This is just going to be your main video, your unedited video. But then once you edit it, you know, hopefully you can cut out those times where you had mistakes or you had problems connecting and so on. So I'm hoping that combining all of those aspects, all right, just trying to work together, finding the best way to record, when to record, maybe the best time is not during class, maybe it's, time, it's in the afternoon, and just trying to make sure that on your own computer that it's, you know, uh, you know, you've got everything else closed and, you know, maybe it works better on your cell phone using a cell phone instead. I, just try to experiment with different devices if you have more than one device and 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 try to, to work it out. If anyone as a team is having additional problems after they've tried all of those things, then you need to schedule a meeting with me as a team as soon as possible so that we can try to work it out. Right. If you guys are having issues, please don't call me on Friday saying that all week you've you haven't been able to to come together to find a solution. I would much much rather find a solution Tuesday or Wednesday so that you can finish up on Friday uh, this uh, task. All right. But try those things and uh, just let me know if you guys are having some issues with creating the video. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right, guys. Okay, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and stop there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass the list before I forget. All right. And um, we'll stop there for today, guys. And we'll continue tomorrow with uh, doing some, some other tasks. But do make sure that you're reaching out to me, guys, if you have issues with technology this week, as we're going to be using a lot of it uh, to create this uh, video. All right, thanks, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you.